Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the introduction to the compression members and what are the types of compression members. See the compression member, what is compression member? Simply we can define a compression member as that member which carries an axial compression. For example, let me draw a diagram here. Let us assume that this is a column. This is your column. And it is carrying one load. I'll denote it by P. And this is actually loaded. So, like this. So, because of this column, because of this external load, the column will get shortened. Means the length of this column will get shortened. And the type of load is which load? This type of load is known as compressive load, which tends to decrease the length of a member. So, this is your compression member. So, if any member which is subjected to the compressive forces, that member will be simply called as compression member. Then, so, any compression member, whether it is column or any other, it may be long or it may be short and it depends upon totally on slenderness ratio. Now, I will tell you, this concept I will separately explain you, slenderness ratio, but let me tell you what is long column and what is short column. See, short column, okay. First one is short column. So, I have given you the definition of short column. See, a short column is one whose ratio of effective length to the least lateral dimension is less than or equal to 12. What it says, the ratio of effective length, I will denote it by LE, effective length, to the least lateral dimension. In short, I can write it like this, LE by B. Now, you will get confused that what is LE and what is B. Let me tell you. What it says first, let's see the definition. The short column is one whose ratio of effective length to the least lateral dimension is less than or equal to 12. It is either less than or equal to 12. So that column will be called as short column. Now, what is this uh, effective length and what is least lateral dimension? For example, this is my column, like this. This is my column. And its dimension are suppose 230 by 500. Okay, 230 by 500 mm of the column. So, which one is the least dimension? This one is least dimension. So, this one is known as B, and this one is known as D. So, the ratio of and effective length will be this one. After the end conditions are studied, we will find out the effective length. This concept I'll show you in the next videos. So, ratio of effective length to the least lateral dimension will be, if it is less than or equal to 12, then that column will be called as short column. Now, what, which one will be the long column then? A long or slender column will be that whose ratio of effective length to the least lateral dimension. What does that mean? Next one is long column. So, I will write it here, long column. Long column is what? If it's effective length to the least lateral dimension or in short you can write it like this le by b if it is greater than 12 then it is known as is not less than 12 not less than means it is greater than 12 then it is called as long column okay then what will be the failure this type of failure this type of column that is short column they will fail by generally crushing they will generally fail by crushing and this type of columns they will generally fail by buckling you have to remember this so you got the idea what is compression member and what is short column and long column let's talk about another one let's see another introduction if a body is in compression the force is acting upon it directed towards the body as i told you i have shown you this diagram let us assume that this is the column so see if the nature of force is compressive what does that mean it is directed towards the body see for example if it is a tension member it will be away from the body this one is tension member or this one will be the tension force but in case of compression member the forces will be directed towards the body like this then compression is the force that tries to shorten the body of an object as i told you because of this towards the body this will shorten the length or span of the structure or the member. Then, design of compression members are governed by strength, that is crushing and buckling. As I told you, there are two types, short and long concept, short column and long column or short 
compression member and long column compression member so they will be totally governed by short columns will be governed by crushing that is strength and long columns will be governed by buckling that is buckle means if the column uh, buckles like this for example this is the long column so they will buckle like this in this direction like this so that is known as buckling then let's see what are the types of compression member so the first type of compression member is a strut now what is strut a compression member which is used in roof truss are called as struts as you can see here in the diagram this one is a strut it is generally it is inclined a member in a roof truss so any compression member which is there in a roof truss that is known as strut okay you have to remember this and it is generally the inclined one then then the principal rafter see the top cord member of a roof truss is known as principal rafter means the this member this is the topmost member i have seen here also principal rafter it is the topmost cord member means the topmost cord member of a roof truss is known as principal rafter and that is also generally considered as a compression member then column see in vert the vertical members in a building are known as columns any vertical member in a building they are known as column that you know but in uk they are known as stanchions so there is another word called as stanchions and stanchions are also mean built up columns built up concept built up sections i have given you i have told you this concept so built up columns or the built up sections or the columns in the uk are known as stanchions then the last one boom what is boom the principal compression member in a crane is called as boom as you can see here i have given you the photo see this this member this is boom boom is what it is the principal compression member what is crane crane is used to uh, move the weights it is uh, used to take the loads from heavy weights heavy goods they are transferred by the boom or the crane okay so any compression member in a crane is known as boom okay so this was the video on introduction to the compression member and types of compression member thank you